Guys, the public beta version of iOS 18 is now out, okay? So let me show you the top 10 things that I love about it in this video. What's up guys, Jason Smash Pop here. So now since the public beta version is out, I've also installed it on my iPhone 15 Pro and there are so many interesting things including lock screen customization, home screen customization and more, okay? So let's start with the number one feature which is home screen customization. Now in order to customize your home screen, just press and long hold on your wallpaper, tap on edit and go to customize. Here you get to choose whether you want your icons to be in dark mode or light mode. Now of course the dark mode is the new feature here. There's also an option to remove the text and make the icons bigger. And lastly, you can also tint all the icons in a different color. So if you want it to be like blue, yellow, red also can. There's also a color picker for you to pick the color from your wallpaper for you to get the matching tint for your icons. Amazing, right? Let me know in comments below whether you like it in dark mode, light mode or tinted. Now, let's move on with the next customization which is lock screen. To customize your lock screen, just do it like how you will customize your wallpaper before this. And now, other than customizing the clock and the widgets on top, you can now tap on the two buttons below which is the shortcuts on your lock screen, okay? Now when you tap on it, you can have access from the controls gallery to pick a button that you love. Like for example, if I want it to turn on music, I can. If I want it to turn on calculator, I can. With so many options in the controls gallery, I am sure you'll be able to find the two buttons that you use the most to place on a lock screen, right? The third big customization comes to the control center. Now, if you pull down from the right side of your screen, you get to see your usual control center, but there are a few more pages now for your other controls, for your media, for your home, and more. Here's a tip, okay? In order to access all these different pages, you just need to scroll down from the top and continue scrolling for it to change the pages automatically as your finger goes down. Now, when you're in customized mode, you get to see handles at the corner of each widget, okay? So you can now pull this to resize. Uh, if you love it smaller, you can just resize it. You can also enlarge it if you love bigger buttons. Now, other than that, you can click on add a control to access all these controls from the gallery and pick whatever options or buttons you want. For example, if I love to have the brightness toggle, I can add brightness onto my control center. I can add one more, I can add one more. And basically we have all the freedom and flexibility to add any controls we want to the control center now. So if you want to play with the sliders, you can like what I do now. There's so much more that you can do on the control center. And uh, if you can, why not screenshot one and send it to me or reply in the comments below so I can see how your control center looks like on iOS 18. Now on iOS 18, okay, we now have the ability to lock our apps with Face ID and also hide them in a secret folder whereby all your friends and family will not be able to access. Now if you scroll all the way to your app library, at the bottom there's a folder called hidden, okay, and to access this hidden folder, it requires your Face ID. Now how to put apps inside this hidden folder? Very simple, just tap and hold on one icon of the apps and then you can tap on require face ID. There you can choose to either lock it with face ID or hide it and also require face ID to unlock. Okay, like what I'm doing now, I'm actually doing hiding and also locking it with face ID. Apple also added a new app to manage all our passwords, okay, for our apps and also online websites. And the app is called Password. So when you open this Password app, right, it is initially locked by Face ID because important information, right? So once you're in there, you get to see the list of all your passwords, your pass keys, your codes, your Wi-Fi access key and more. And if you have additional passwords for websites that are not listed here, you can just tap on the plus and you can add your own passwords. Another big change that comes to iOS 18 is the Photos app. Now, when you open Photos, you get to see a brand new interface, okay? Top half are your tiles, 
bottom half are all your different widgets and options to see like for example a collection photos of recent days collection of pets people and also your pin collections there are also memories okay to bring you back to all your special occasions and also your special trips like for example here bringing me back to cupertino in this movie slideshow we also get the option to pick effects what mood and also what music to go along with this slideshow And when you go back to the main photos interface, you get to also swipe your tiles to the right to access your featured photos and also your featured library and also memories. Now, if you notice at the bottom left of the screen, you actually get this new button with two arrows that gives you access to filter and also view options. When you click on view options, you get to zoom in, zoom out and change aspect ratio. And what I love about it is now we can filter by certain category like for example if you want to filter screenshots then we will not be able to see any screenshots on our photo gallery very useful messages also got new upgrades okay now of course the upgrades can be categorized into three the first one is message effects so when you're typing your message you get to press the little button on the right side to access the different effects that you can add to your text when you send it out okay tap backs also come in multiple colors now it's not just like the plain blue icons now it's multicolor, and you can also add your own tap back icons and also emojis but the feature that i love the most under messages in ios 18 is the ability to schedule messages for example if your girlfriend's or your boyfriend's birthday is tomorrow but you're afraid that you forgot to wish them tomorrow you can send the message now and schedule it to appear in their inbox tomorrow here's a tip okay if you want to do this action like that just pick the emoji with the two hands and then pick this effect and when you send it it will appear like this how many of you actually use the action button on the iphone 15 pro and pro max nobody right i know <laughs> because there's not enough features for the action button until iOS 18 because now in the action button settings we can also access more things other than translate magnifier we can also access controls so now we can press this option to access the control gallery again and we can pick whatever options we want and see this is the option I pick and this is how I do it just press and hold very simple In the notes app now, we don't just get to write things, you know, we can also calculate things because they've also made the notes app very, very smart. So for example, if you have a grocery list like here, like food, drinks, tickets and gifts, all we need to do is to add everything up in one sentence and type the symbol equals okay if the equal sign will actually sum up everything for us there are also other calculations we can do for example this we can do subtraction addition multiplication and more new feature number 10 okay speaking of calculations on the notes brings us to the calculator app now the calculator app has been revamped okay of course the first interface you see it looks like normal lah, calculator but if you tap on the button on the bottom you get to access math notes math notes was initially introduced for the ipad but of course the iphone also get it because of ios 18 so what you can do is use your finger to draw or write calculations and it will calculate and also give you the answer in your own handwriting which is crazy okay you also get this option to convert things by enabling conversion so now when you want to convert say for example ringgit to another currency euro us or even like taiwan dollars you just need to type how much ringgit you want and it will give the answer to you instantly So basically, I have done all the 10 things that I love about iOS 18, okay? Of course, there are a lot, a lot more features that you can find out by yourself. But I also want to add one more thing to this video, okay? Now, if you go to calendar, you can actually see the little, little dots as usual. But if you use your two fingers to pinch to zoom, you get to actually zoom in and see all the entries 
in your calendar days okay you can also now list reminders in your calendar so in your calendar one app you can see all your events and also all your reminders in one list so those are some of my favorite features on ios 18 which one is your top favorite let me know in the comments below okay and if you want to know how to install the public beta version of ios 18 you can also click on the link here and then go register yourself lah. but let you know first it is beta okay so that means this version of ios is not finalized yet if you want the final final one confirm nice one wait for maybe september or october like that okay but if you want to play with ios 18 now you can also access the public beta using the link below if you love gadget videos like this don't forget to subscribe to this channel follow me on all social platforms my name is smash pop you can see it here share this video with your iphone friends and also your android friends to show them what iphones can do now and i'll see you in the next video Yo!